Are you struggling to connect your local Git branch with a remote branch? You're not alone. Many developers face this challenge, and today we're going to simplify the process for you. I totally get it. It can be really confusing when you create a new branch and it feels like it's just floating out there, disconnected from your remote repository. You're definitely not the only one who has felt this way. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user recently asked, if I create a local branch and then run a pull command, will it connect my local branch with the remote branch? This is a common scenario, so let's break it down. But to understand this better, when you create a local branch using the command, it doesn't automatically link to the remote branch. This means that any changes made in the remote branch won't reflect in your local branch unless you explicitly connect them. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to connect your local branch to the remote branch, and I'll share a pro tip that will make your Git workflow even smoother. To connect the local branch with the remote branch, the user should first ensure they are on the newly created local branch. They can do this by executing the command to switch to the develop branch. Next, the user needs to set the upstream branch for their local develop branch. This can be done using the command that links the local branch to the remote branch. After setting the upstream, the user can now pull the latest changes from the remote develop branch. This ensures that their local branch is synchronized with the remote branch. Finally, the user should verify that their local branch is correctly tracking the remote branch. They can check this by running a specific command. Fun fact, did you know that Git was created by Linus Torvalds, the same person who created Linux? It's amazing how far version control has come since then. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by another user involves tracking the remote develop branch without creating a local branch first. They suggest starting from the master branch and using the command to track the remote branch directly. This method allows you to pull and push from the develop branch. However, it's recommended to use pull requests for pushing changes to develop. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative approach to connect your local branch with the remote branch is to first create a new local branch that tracks the remote branch. You can do this by using the command git checkout b develop origin slash develop. After making your changes, use git add a to stage them followed by git commit-m to commit your changes. Finally, push your changes to the remote repository with git push u origin develop. This will set up the tracking information automatically. Here's a pro tip. After connecting your branches, always remember to regularly pull changes from the remote branch to keep your local branch up to date. This will save you from merge conflicts down the line. And there you have it. You've successfully connected your local branch with the remote branch. Remember, keeping your branches in sync is crucial for a smooth workflow. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.